Today we're gonna to be working on this problem here where we have a block diagram of a control system and we want to find two transfer functions. The first uh, is the transfer function from the input R to the output Y. And the second transfer function is from this disturbance D to the output Y. And we're gonna go through step by step and find both of these. Okay, so if we start with the transfer function from R to Y, uh, the first thing we do when we tackle these sorts of problems and we're looking for the transfer function from only one input to an output is we assume that the other inputs are going to be zero. So for now, we will assume that D is equal to zero. And then the way we tackle these block diagram problems is we tackle them from right to left. And that's really important because if we start considering MIMO systems and these uh, blocks here, this like G of S and this H of S, they might represent transfer function matrices. And in that case, our um, input R and our output Y and our error E would all be vectors. And as we know uh, from our linear algebra classes, that the multiplication of the matrices H by G is not the same as multiplying G by H necessarily. So it's really important that we keep everything consistent. And the way we do that is by working uh, right to left. So if D is zero here, we're going to start labeling points and we're going to say that our output Y, the equation for that is going to be Y is equal to G of S, and we'll just drop the of S in brackets for convenience here, times H times our error E. And that's the way we're gonna work this. We'll just work back one at a time and build up our equation that way. So what is E? E, and whenever we see these circles, we assume that there's an implicit summation going on here, unless it's otherwise stated. So this one here would be a negation. So E is R minus, so it's R minus Y, because this is just a direct connection here. So this is also Y. So we have E is equal to R minus Y. And if we substitute that into our equation for Y, then we have Y is equal to G H times R minus Y. And we can expand those brackets. So we get Y is equal to G times H times R minus G H Y. Uh, we add Y to both sides. So we have Y plus G H Y is equal to G H R. We collect our terms and pull the Y out. So we have Y one plus G H is equal to G H R. And if we rearrange this over here, we see that Y is equal to G H R over one plus G H. And then finally we divide by R. And this is exactly what we were looking for. So we found the transfer function from our input R to our output Y. Now we can start on the other one. Okay, so for the second half of this question, uh, we need to find the transfer function from the disturbance D to the output Y. And that should give us this transfer function up here. So as we did last time, we want to assume our other inputs are zero. So R, assume R is equal to zero, which means this input here effectively isn't there. And we do exactly what we did last time. So starting at our output Y, let's write down our equation Y is equal to, and we have a summation here. So 
these two things are summed. And I'm just going to give this point here an arbitrary letter. Let's call it X. And so Y in this case is equal to D plus X. And as we did last time, we can see here that X is equal to working right to left G times H times E. And in this case, our error E is simply minus Y. So E is equal to minus Y. So now we just work backwards, substituting everything in. So if E is equal to minus Y, then X is equal to G of H times minus Y. So we have Y and the minus comes out the front. And then if we substitute that back in to our equation for Y up the top here, we see we have y is equal to d minus, minus g times h times y. We add this right-hand term to both sides. We get y plus g of h. y equals d. I said g of h. I mean g times h times y, sorry. And then we pull the y's out. Factor that, so we have one plus G times H is equal to D. And then we divide both sides and we have Y is equal to D of one plus G H. And if we divide both sides by D, we see we get one plus G H, which is exactly what we were looking for.